Okay, so today's an, my upload dates. It's Sunday, right? Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, pretty much every other day except Monday and Sunday back to back are my upload days. What's well, a stream, upload, or premiere something on every one of these days? And I've been doing a good job since since the, since I started in January. I wasn't gonna upload today. I really wasn't. I was just tired. I was just like, you know what? This one day I'll be okay. You know, hopefully no one no no one calls me out type B. And then I was asked an interesting question, and I'm like, damn, I really want to ask you guys this question the same way my friend asked me this question. So I'm gonna, for that, if you're new, please subscribe, uh, like the video, hit the bell down, uh, so you stay notified. And so the Ghost Your 13 Month series doesn't get you. And let me let me let me frame it. I'm gonna frame this properly. All right. So he asked me who was the most underrated Overlord we'll character in Tower of God, in my opinion. So I obviously wanted more context. Are we talking about from a combat standpoint, underused? And he just went, no, 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 no. What character popped into your mind when I asked you which Tower God character is underrated or overlooked? And I just went, that is such an interesting way to ask such a basic question. And I fucking love it. I'm going to give you my answer. And then I'm going to, I'm going to ask a question. I'm gonna cut the intro, I'm gonna give y'all my answer, and then we can all hash it out in the comment section. But what I want you guys to do first is, once I ask it, I want you to actually put that person or character in the comment. Then, if you want, you can add to it, edit it, reply it, after I say what I have to say. So, with with no extra context, which, which Tower of God character is underrated or overlooked in your opinion? Let's talk about it. So right now in the comment section, I sh you guys should have written down which character you guys believe in your viewpoint is the most underused or underrated overlooked character in Tower of God. I'm, I'm curious to know what you guys think I'm about to say, but let me not waste any more time and just reveal who I, who popped into my mind when this question was asked to me. So for me, the answer was actually Young Sleep. I call him Young Sleep, but it's, I mean, I mean, Fonse called Lore. And... Originally, I was like, wait, why did he pop into my head of all things? I think like I like it was just it was just this weird like <laughs> feedback loop of me constantly being more and more interested by the way this question was asked and then my own reply, which was pretty weird, I guess. But I honestly thought it was interesting. Like Lauren came to my mind. And I wonder what the reasoning is. And I think I think I can explain it. I want everyone to explain the reasoning for whatever character they chose as well. But I'll tell you why I think it's Lauren. Now, I will I will openly admit a lot of this has to do with my own expectations of the character based on how he was initially introduced. And I thought it was very cool with the Shinsu and the sleep gimmick. And I thought maybe this guy was kind of a nobody. But I'm like, no, he's pretty strong. And then when he was teaching, talking to Bam, and I think with, I think Ho about like being talented and making the, making the bang and everything. I'm like, yeah, this guy's going to be, he's going to be tough. And I... And I would I would argue that he's done pretty much absolutely nothing. Like he's been funny to see sleeping and stuff like that, but he kind of in the background. I know we've learned little tidbits here and there about reading Shinsu in the sleep, learning that this is a branch family of the Eurasia, uh, uh, great family and things of that nature. So don't get me don't get it twisted. It's not to say the Fonse call in general, uh, so Irure, Drac, and especially Lore don't have a level of intrigue and things of that uh, things of that ilk but the problem that i'm having is just that i feel like based on how coolly this guy just this character was introduced and what i was getting little snippets of i just expected more by this point now when the Eurasia family becomes a focal point we never know he could become so much more vital and then maybe he just needs his proper arc to shine so this is not me saying we can't get that in the future so don't don't mistake me. Don't mistake in. <coughs> Sorry, be at that front. But dang, it's like, what? What does he actually do? Like, have you ever just thought about like how, like, kind of how awesome he is? How awesome the Fonse Cuff family is? Obviously, the Eurasia family. And it's like, what do you do though? But other than have a sleep gimmick, and I'm like, yeah, it's probably. And and, and this also was probably the the kind of nail in the coffin. I feel like SIU is underrating him or underusing him. In the sense that it's like, it's not just like, oh, he's underrated because the, I don't think that I, I'm not having a problem with the community's view um, of Lori. That's what, that's what they were trying to get at. Like, 
when I talk to people about Loray, they're like, yo, Loray's cool. I like Loray, so it's not like, oh, he's overlooked in the sense that when I talk to our own fandom, people respect him. At least, at least, at least in my, like, anecdotally, in my life, people respect him. So it's not from that aspect. It's like, no, I feel like, I feel like the actual creator is the one who's not putting respect on him because he don't do nothing. And I think he can do so much more. I would actually argue a character like Hots falls into that category a little bit too, um, where I think they're underrated, uh, or especially for what Hots can and should be able to do and what could really make him interesting. But I'm not here to really complain about nothing. I just want that kind of pose this question i really wanted you guys to kind of give me who do you think is the most overlooked on the use underrated character in tower god no extra context added for me it's, it's Lori. And, and, and again it's not it's not lost on me that i personally just like this character a lot more than i probably should <laughs> And I just want him to do something. So this is me telling you, like, I'm openly admitting my wants for the character. I'm not trying to hide it. I'm not trying to be, like, some bias. Like, no, like, whatever. But anyways, quick little video, because I told you I'm not supposed to be working today. So I'm, this is, I'm, not, I'm not even going to edit this like crazy. This is going to be very minimally edited. But I want to know your guys' opinion. Tell me in the comments section below. Thanks for taking the time to watch this. And, yeah, have yourselves a mighty fine day. Take care of each other and all that good stuff. Yeah. Shit in my drug, yeah. Pour it in my cup, yeah. Sitting in my darkness with my clothes, we pouring up. I don't really give a fuck, I don't really have a say. You tell me that I suck, I tell you get up out my face. Got tears in your eyes, looking like a fool.